I'm going to show you a super simple way of creating a bridge in Blue Sky Plan using our new automatic tooth design functionality. I'm going to start the process by clicking on crown and bridge and then choosing the bridge option. Okay, so I'm going to navigate to the location of my computer where these files are stored. Here we go. I'm going to left click on the first one, hold down the shift key, left click on the second one, and then click OK. And while this is importing, what I forgot to mention because I'm so excited about this video is that the bridge functionality in Blue Sky Plan to design and to export is completely free. So you could do this all day long. You could create your bridges and not pay anything to design and export from Blue Sky Plan. Okay, click on the relevant model, relevant jaw, dentate, continue to alignment. Okay, it's running the automatic machine learning alignment. Okay, we could use the widget on the screen to move or to rotate the models. We could toggle all of our models on and off and show and hide the grid and show and hide the widget. Once we have the models in the correct placement, we click finish. And now we have our models imported into Blue Sky Plan and aligned to the head in the bottom corner. What we're going to do now is before we do anything else, we are going to run automatic tooth design. Now, Automatic Tooth Design is a new machine learning functionality that we've integrated into Blue Sky Plan. At this point of time, you can't multi-select teeth. So the downside is we're just going to do this one at a time, but it goes quickly. So we're just going to click the relevant tooth, click once in the relevant area, and have the tooth generated. Okay, so our first tooth is there. We're going to go ahead and click again. Select the relevant tooth left click once and the tooth is being generated. Now we've had the functionality to pick library teeth and add them to the model. And you could see that when I go to add tooth again for the next tooth, we could see right here that we have the select tooth from catalog with, with all the variations of the catalog teeth that you could then see and choose from. What we've added in now is automatically create AI tooth which is the functionality that we're using right now. So we're not choosing a catalog tooth. We're just indicating to the software for which tooth we're creating an automatic tooth generation for. Clicking once, and then the software is designing an automatic tooth based on the particular model, based on the adjacent teeth, the opposing teeth. It's designing for us the relevant teeth for our particular data set. Okay, and for the last time, for the last tooth, Okay, we have our four teeth designed and added to the plan. We could see our teeth. We're going to click continue to bridge design. Click the create bridge button. You could use if needed, if you like, any of the editing tools that we always have to add, remove material, to smooth material. But since we already have the teeth designed the way they should be, we could simply just click next. We could grab and rotate the arrow to define the path of insertion, or we could rotate the model and then click set insertion direction from view. Once we've done that, we click next. The undercuts are being removed for the entire bridge. And here is our bridge. We could go to export. Before we do that, let's just take a look. We have our new surface that we have right here. We also have our individual teeth that we've added and designed that we could toggle on and off. But let's take a look at our bridge. Here is the bridge. We could export. If we go back and click export. And right here, we could select exactly what to export. We have the bridge selected by default, and we could go ahead and export it. It shows how many exports are remaining, but as I mentioned, the entire process of designing and exporting the bridge is completely free, including the functionality for the automatic tooth design is completely free as well. This video was made using version 4.13.31 of the Blue Sky Plan software. If you're using the older version, 
you should definitely visit and join our Blue Sky Bio user group on Facebook. We have the latest builds posted there first. We have a lot of members who are discussing very interesting topics. So check out the user group for the latest builds, the newest news and information regarding discounts, free offers, and everything in between.